Alright guys, today I've got a little fun unboxing for you. Uh, this is actually going to be on my camera. And this is my new camera I just bought. So this is the Canon Rebel T5i. Um, really excited about this thing. It's supposed to have some nice new features for recording some high quality videos. Specifically autofocus is what I really want this thing for more than anything. Um, so very, very cool. I'm actually using right now the Rebel uh, T3i up here on top. That's what I'm recording with right now. So we're going to unbox this thing really quick. This does come with the uh, EF-S1855 ISSMT kit, which is the lens, basically, that it comes with. Um, just show it to you really quick. Here's a side view. Same old thing as the top, pretty much. Um, some contents right here. Basically, the camera, the Rebel T5i, the lens kit, um, a strap, battery charger, battery pack, interface cable, and software and manuals are in there also. So um, some different things on here for requirements of installing it on your computer. So Windows, Mac, all that kind of stuff for requirements. Different uh, specs on the back right there. Little UPC or code. And pretty much it. So let's go ahead and open this thing up and see what's in the box. So there we go. That's going to be the beginnings of it. So first thing you've got here is a little, uh, what do you want to call it, a warranty card. So put that to the side. Looks like another looking warranty card. Fill those out later. Next you've got your um, EOS Digital Solutions Disk Canon software for Windows or Mac. And then here we've got some manuals. Um, so I don't know if you can see how thick <laughs> these manuals are. These things are ridiculously thick and um, go over like everything on this uh, camera. But to go through all these, it's just gonna take you a long time to read through it. I, there's even features on my T3i up here that I don't even know about, honestly. I, it's just They're very in-depth cameras that can do a lot. So there you go, that is the manuals. Let's open up the rest of it here. And you've got your Canon strap. Very nice strap, I like it. Pretty good quality. Have it on my other one too, so it's a nice looking strap. We'll set that aside. Then we have, let's see what we got in here. Here is your cable. This is the cable that plugs into your charger, so we'll open up the charger as well. Set that aside. Here is your battery charger. So pretty standard. This is the exact same batteries as my other camera, the T3i. So that's really cool. Um, there's your little plug in there. So all that stuff's going to be interchangeable for me between the two cameras. So I'm pretty excited about that as well. Um, let's see what else we got in here. Here's a uh, USB cable, so you can interface the camera with your computer. Very nice. Set that down. Um, here you go, this is going to be the uh, battery, like I said, which is uh, the exact same battery as my other camera. So, a little bit stuck in there, there we go. Just to cover off of it and then see the charge. You just, boom, stick it in, charge away. So, very nice, very, very nice. Alright, then next we're going to actually get out our lens. So, we'll open this up. And there is our lens. So it does have a couple cool features on the side right here, which is uh, sta stability or stabilizer, I should say, off and on, and then manual focus and autofocus right there, a little toggle on the side as well. Um, a nice, ooh, I like that lens cap. That's pretty cool. Um, my other one, uh, I don't know if it, even, if it even came with a lens cap, but I, I like this, a little pinch right there. That's pretty, pretty, pretty slick. I do have a lens cap on it, but I don't know if it came with it. And obviously this is going to be your takeoff, and then you're going to attach it to the camera. And we'll get into that too. So set that down. And lastly is the actual camera itself here. And there should be everything in the box. The rest was just, just packaging and stuff like that. So we'll set that aside. And uh, we'll get all this stuff out right here. And then obviously your warranty and 
your uh, CDs are right there. So let's open this sucker up really quick. A lot of packaging, which is good. Keep this thing nice and protected. Nice little kind of like static cloth or something here. And slide it out and shabam. There is the actual uh, camera itself. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to go over this thing a little bit more in depth here. We'll get a little closer on it. But just going to show you everything that it comes with. Um, it's a nice kit, really. Uh, very nice camera with my other one. So I'm really excited to use this new one. So let me uh, just uh, zoom in here and we'll show you these cameras specifically. All right, first of all, let's go ahead and show you the lens again. Really, just really, really quick. Um, you should be able to see this. All right, there we go. So here you go. You can see that uh, stabilizer button again, the autofocus, manual focus, and then again, it's the EFS 1855 millimeter image stabiliz stabilizer, micro, says uh, 0.25 meters or 0.8 of a foot so it gets really really close up on stuff which is going to be really good for what I do for doing videos of uh, phones and tablets and that and so on so here you go you've got this little lens cap on here and that's actually where your uh, lens actually connects to so let me actually do that really quick take off these two caps and then you just got to line this thing up and then it just is a slight turn to it there we go and boom it locks in right there and you're all set so very very cool um, let's go ahead and turn this thing over show you what we have on top up here so here's obviously your picture button right there um, and then this is actually changed from the T3i so this actually gives you um, normally you have just the on and the off right here with the T3i but with this one you actually have this last mode which is actually for camera specifically for viewing videos so um, I like that it just it just automatically puts you right into that camera mode by just flicking your button up so it's a nice little addition you have obviously all of your other settings right here on your dial normally I leave my stuff on auto it's just easiest to use um, so that's pretty much the same on the T3i as on here um, see on the back here you've got same exact button layout as well um, there's for viewing when you're taking photos you can see that the uh, lens does turn and pivot so you have a full shooting lens right here so if you're taking pictures you can actually touch that and actually just view through here if you don't touch it then it will be looking through your lens when you're taking pictures video automatically gets displayed on the lens uh, which is pretty nice so you do have some menu stuff info stuff over here when you turn this thing on that uh, is pretty slick so this actually feels really small to me I'm so used to having my extended battery pack on the bottom which really gives this thing another couple couple inches um, and then obviously over here we have um, some little flaps here so you can put in a microphone and it looks like a remote for the camera and then over here you can actually put in uh, HDMI out and a USB cable out and I actually use that when I'm recording uh, videos and I'll actually show you that here in a second I'll show you how I use it um, but uh, pretty cool there's your battery door on the bottom right there and then on this side you also have your micro or actually not micro it's just standard um, SD card right there obviously I recommend like some class 10 high capacity card for doing recording on this device so pretty cool that's pretty much uh, what I've got right here that is my uh, brand new Canon T5i. Um, super excited about using this thing. Can't wait. Oh, let me just show you two also here. Here's a flash. There's a couple of little buttons here and there. There's another little button there. I'm not sure what that is. I need to read my manual. But uh, pretty much it, guys. I hope you guys liked this little review of the Canon camera that I'm going to be using on my YouTube videos. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out. All right, really quick, let me just show you what I mean by how I use this cable on my Rebel T3i. Oh, isn't that confusing? This is a little application on my Nexus 7, and I love it, love it, love it, love it. Really cool application. It allows me to view what I'm recording, um, so I'm not actually having to look at the camera screen to see what's going on. 
in my recording. You can just view it right here. Runs a little cable off with an OTG cable and now I can use my tablet as a viewing screen while I record. So that's what I mean by that little USB port on the side. That's how I use it when I'm recording. There it is. Pretty sweet.